Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts. Uh, today's topic is the Freedom Stain, contemplating Dorito Gate, and all the leaves lost in the conflict with the spy balloon. We just don't know, folks, but life needs a complaint department. I'm a firm believer in complaining. <sighs> Complaints make the world go around, and life needs a complaint department, you know. We sure we can always take it up with the boss, but, you know, at the end of the day, he ain't gonna do squat about it. I went to lay down, right, because I hurt and I don't feel good, you know. I got my ass beaten by a piss rug and woke up an hour later in the shower where I had fallen in the bathtub and I got myself out of it. And my mother knew this. She knew I felt like freeze dried fecal matter and I've been up working doing my chores all day, getting things sorted for her, even made her special meal, which she then complained about. For whatever reason. And then I wake up maybe five, ten minutes later after laying down to a noisy senior citizen reading the mail. But it's not her mail, it's my mail. And thus she's trying to read it to me from across the house until I got up and promptly confiscated said mail, read it, assessed it, absorbed the information, and then threw it away. What's the point of the story? When you cohabitate with another person, you learn their habits. And my mother can be quite irritating. I'm sure you can tell by the sound of my voice that I'm a little irritated, but I have lucky strikes, so I'm good. And my adventure to town to get those today was a rather pain in the ass, too. Traffic in this local area is really built up, and people drive like it's fucking Sunday on a Saturday. But... Yeah, when, when you live with another human being, do your best not to get on their nerves constantly. I, I know my mom's turned back into a little kid after Dad died. And she's become quite fussy and demanding. As uh, the future missus says, uh, Mom can be a booger at times. You know, and she often refers to this habit as uh, boogerism, right? The act of being a booger. And... Uh, that's a pretty accurate word for it. I prefer the term pissy senior, but, you know, I can live with it. But as always, if you don't like what I have to say about crabby senior citizens or wanting a nap and why life needs a complaint department, you can eat my shorts.